Yo, this vlog is going to be about doing photo transfers. Do you remember when you were a kid? Yay! Did you ever take silly putty and press it onto newspaper and the newspaper print would be on the silly putty? It's the same idea. Ah! Mirror play. Oh. Um, anyway, so you can use wood for these. You can use a canvas. This is just a normal, you know, gessoed canvas. These work probably the best, especially if you're just beginning. First things first, I have this picture of my brother and sister-in-law at their wedding. The first thing that you need to do is remember to flip the image uh, horizontally. Flip it, mirror image, and that's because when you put it down onto the surface, it will be facing the right way. In Photoshop, I've sized this photo to be six by six, because this is where I'm transferring it. Number two, laser printer, or you have to send it to Kinko's. You can't really use inkjet. It's ink, and when it gets wet, it will smudge. Um, number four, or three, or two, or one, stay hydrated. Number whatever, pet the cat. Okay, I got the picture, I'm gonna cut it out. really doesn't matter if it's even at least not the way I do it because when you reveal the image you end up damaging it but it gives it that sort of shabby chic look so some of this is gonna get rubbed off in the final uh, image this would look really good just on the white background or we could paint it Ooh. does this look weird wonder how this looks their wedding colors were like champagne and maroon, I think. Experimentation. Let it dry and catch you back here. Okay. So this is dry. The lighter the background, the better. Okay, what I'm gonna do is sand it a little bit. This is heavy gel medium and it's gloss, which means when it dries, it's glossy. It doesn't really matter if it's totally smooth. It's okay if there's bumps, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna take my picture and put it face down. Canvases are a little bit harder. They bend and if you press too much on this, you're gonna make an indentation and then it looks bad so you don't wanna do that. But you have to really press hard um, when you do these transfers because you want the paper to totally adhere everywhere. I really like to use brayers. They're really, really good. So I'm going around the edge, which is where the wood is first. When you're doing this on a solid piece of wood, of course you can just go as hard as you want, but you know, you need to be a little bit more careful. So when I'm working with canvas, I usually put my hand right in here and I go like this. And I press, you can, some people like to use a spoon. I like to use my fingers more because I can feel the bubbles. Don't press so hard that you're gonna move the paper and rip it cause it's really wet. It's a little bit delicate. So I'm just sort of like not pressing super hard, which is why I'm going over and over and I'm pressing up on the back to offset the pressure from the top. So I'm going to let this dry um, overnight probably. It needs to probably dry and set for at least eight hours. <laughs> it's the next day and this is dry. I have my canvas and I painted it and I put the photo on and now it's totally dry. And this is how you reveal the photo. You take water, you spray this. And... 
This is always like Christmas because you don't know exactly what it's going to look like. So the water saturates the paper and we're going to take the paper off. Ooh, fun times. <laughs> so you can start to see the image. So what we're going to do is just rub, rub a dub dub. Rub a dub schmub dub. Push the back up so that you don't bend it. Although with the water and stuff, it'll probably get a little bit bent. That's just the nature of it. So I'm pushing against my finger. <laughs> So the colors that I did are like on there. It looks so cool. The splotch of red. So awesome. Really happy with this except for that. So I'll fix that. So it's El Finito. It's, it's awesome. I love the way it turned out. Um, this, I, you know, did the top part again and it kind of gave him like a, a splotch right there, but the whole thing is sort of just splotchy and that's sort of the, um, the style of it so um i really like it it's okay it makes him look like a pirate Arr. <laughs> so now i'm gonna put some uh, polyurethane on it i use this polyurethane um, water base and it always gives a little bit of a like it there's like a yellowish sort of almost sepia color that it gives it. I'm just going to let that dry. There it is. See, it still looks shiny, but it's all done and I mounted it on this frame. And uh hope they love it. So, if you make one of your own, let me know. Post it on here. Ho, ho, ho.